Hello everybody and welcome to Chrono Plays in the Real World, the game that proves that Rockstar isn't the only one to retroactively remove resolutions. Today I have Loot Crate, and apparently it's a different type of Loot Crate this time around because we have a warning. Attention looters, this crate is designed differently than any other crate before it. Please read the first page of the magazine to see how. Okay. And it is a little bit more different as well because it's got an air hole, and that kind of bothers me. Um, but I guess that's good that the weather's been all kinds of goofy recently since it hasn't rained. It's just been really getting cold. Except for today. It's like 57 today. What the hell? Uh, damn you, global warming. I don't understand you. So, let us get started. Bloop. I have no idea why this crate is different. It's smaller than the last one, but so far that's the only difference. It opens the same, and inside we have... Robot Repair Light. Light Robot Repair. Okay, whatever. I'm trying to read it upside down. But it is the fight thing, and it was using Mega Man, as you can clearly see. Let's take a look at this shirt real quick. Because that's the first thing, and that's the most interesting thing, usually. It feels like the same fabric as the last shirt. So, yes, ultra thin. And it is... I'm not 100% sure. It's one of them word things. It... Oh, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Ninja. Pirate. Okay, I get it now. Yes, it's one of those uh, word things that make the outline of the picture. It has all the words that describe what it is. We got, I can't pronounce it, but ninja, quiet, die. We got fighter, surly, rogue. I can't read all of these things because they're all kinds of warped, but that's my problem. But yes, uh, it's a Ninja versus Pirate t-shirt, which is not actually that bad of a thing. That's actually kind of cool. All right, next. Bloop. We have a Mega Man mini helmet replica. I was never terribly, never a big fan of Mega Man. Never, never really liked the game. It was always quite difficult for me. Oh, it's red Mega Man helmet. Or Zero's helmet or something. I don't know. It's really solid, though. It's kind of heavy for its size. Heavier than you would expect. This is better made than I would have expected. This is actually a really nice helmet. And I'm not a big fan of Mega Man. But this might go on my collection of interesting things. Hmm. It's really, really nice. And no, I have absolutely no idea what version of Mega Man this is. The only one that I know of was... Wasn't Zero Red? Ah, fuck. I don't know. I'm not a Mega Man guy, so let's set you right over there. We have... Uh, something from Capcom. Street Fighter headband? Oh, I bet you it is. <clears throat> let's find out. Uh, I would assume so. <laughs> Um, yes. Street Fighter headband. So that's all it is? I guess it's like... This guy's headband. Yeah, I don't... I don't play Street Fighter. I don't play Mega Man. I don't play Street Fighter. You know what I do play? I play Mortal Kombat. Now, that's a good fighting game. I really like Mortal Kombat. I hope there's something Mortal Kombat in here, because... I mean, when you think of fighting games, you do think Street Fighter and you think Mortal King Combat. Those are fighting games. You don't think, well, you don't really think Mega Man, because Mega Man's a side-scrolling shooter game. And you really don't think Halo, because Halo is a first-person shooter game. So, I don't get it. But, uh, what are you? You are Mega Bloks Halo. So this is like Halo... Lego, or well, pff, I was about to say Legos, but no, they're Mega Blocks. Let's be specific here. Metallic series figure, figure D Metallica, uh, new superposable micro action figures. Okay, 
Uh, let's open you up and see what you are. Come on. There we go. Just had to pop it. Ugh. Try to do this in a way that I don't drop everything. Just like I did. Because <laughs> there are loose parts. Uh, looks like a shoulder pad. And a very tiny gun. Looks like a pistol. And it's a little itty bitty. Um. Damn it, it's been so long since I played Halo. I don't. Spartan, that's it. It's a little itty bitty Spartan. And a little itty bitty stand for it. I guess this is supposed to be a grenade. I would assume so, anyways. The case itself isn't very well made. <laughs> doesn't hold together very well. And it doesn't. It doesn't even fit the whole way together properly. Whatever. Come on, Spartan. Out of the bag. Out of the bag! Boop. So, there's a shoulder pad. Where does the shoulder pad go? Oh, not a shoulder pad then, I take it. Backpack. Though it really looks like one of the shoulder pads from the game. Hmm. And then of course he's holding his pistol. Ah, super poseable. Okay, for the figure that is a very large pistol. And then he sits on his stand, I would assume. Not very well, apparently. His feet don't exactly space properly. What the crap? It wants to sit off-centered like that. I don't understand why. <laughs> okay, this is a very interesting design. Come on. There we go. Yeah, he doesn't look all that intimidating to me. But, you know, whatever. <clears throat> okay. Moving along, we have Assassin's Creed Unity, the game that everybody's recently getting pissed off about. It's a really nice button bag, though. It'd make a good dice bag if you do that. And a, I was about to say a gold doubloon, but that's not gold. That's silver. Okay, so it's a silver doubloon. Yeah, I don't play Assassin's Creed either. Um... I guess Assassin's Creed qualifies as a fighting game. I mean, it's a uh, third-person stab em up but it qualifies as a fighting game, I guess, technically. Well, it's more of a stealth em up whatever. But no, never played Assassin's Creed Unity. I played Assassin's Creed 1 for a little while. Loved the parkour. The parkour was really fun. Um, then I got bored with it. Yeah. We got the standard Loot Crate badge, which has Mega Man and one of the guys from Street Fighter that I can never remember his name. Come on, focus, focus. Yeah, autofocus sucks. So, that doesn't work. What else do we got? We got... Digital Comic Loot. Uh, for Archie's Comic. Oh, cool. Well, you ain't getting that. That's a full game download for Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. Uh, that's on Steam. And no, you're not getting that one. Well, I don't know. Do I care? Yeah, I care. I care about Street Fighter. I'll play Street Fighter. Street Fighter is pretty fun. So, no, you're not getting that one. That's going to stay there. Ooh, what is this? It is... Oh, which side are you? Pirates versus Ninja. Pirates versus Ninja. The ancient debate of Pirates versus Ninjas stretches back through the ages to 2001. Through the ages. Bastards, I feel old now. Where the battle was first questioned at realultimatepower.net. Although pirates have appeared with ninjas in murky 
tributaries of time and entertainment, any origin before 2001 is hotly contested. While many people claim that, or claim this or that about who would win such a battle, this much is clear. You're right, and everyone else is wrong. <laughs> okay, well, that pretty much sums up the internet debates there. All right, so which side are you? Are you ninja or are you pirate? I'm neither. <laughs> I don't get involved in those fights. I tend not to. Lichdom Battle Mage. And yeah, that one you can have. I don't know what the hell this is. 50% off Lichdom Battle Mage is the first person caster that gives the magic the spotlight in a way never before seen in games. Oh, I did see this. Um, I, I, I have seen this. It did look interesting, but it's not something I'm going to pick up. So yeah, you guys can have this. So whoever takes that code, go for it. Um, it did look interesting. I just personally wasn't interested in it myself. Woo. And then we have the book. Wow. This is a lot more solidly made than the last one, and there's obviously cutout things. So let's read the first and see what's so different about this. He who knows when he can fight and when he cannot will be victorious, Sun Tzu. He gets quoted a lot, but isn't Sun Tzu an asshole? Or is that somebody else I was thinking about? Eh, whatever. All right, so no matter how good you are, there's always somebody waiting to test your skills against yours in glorious battle. Oh, test their skills in, against yours in glorious battle. Which is funny, considering I've been watching Dragon Ball Z for the past couple of weeks. Whether your battles are fought in a galaxy far away... Or deep within yourself, there is always something to be gained. Sometimes it's ancient secrets or an awesome sword. But with every once in a while, it's sweet, sweet loot. This month we've got battles in our sights, and we're glad you're here with us. Suit up and prepare to test your might. Okay, so they quote freaking Mortal Kombat. They have nothing in here Mortal Kombat-wise. It's Mega Man, which is a shooter, a side-scrolling shooter. And I can take a guess why this is different. Okay. Um, oh, I see what they are. Okay, so Battle Create Instructions. The Create was designed with the intent of taking photos of your own epic battles. Visit lootcrate.com slash battle create instructions for more info. Things you might need. Scissors, tape, camera. Well, I've got the camera. I don't have scissors, but I've done worse. Believe me, I've done worse. Uh, cut along the white dotted line on the opening tab. That would be this guy right here. Open the tabs on the inside of the box. Careful not to push or bend too hard. That would be these black marks right here. Uh, carefully open the side of the crate itself to open the top of the display. Oh, I get it. Wait, no, I don't. I really don't, because this looks like it folds up. Like, oh, 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 I see. This part folds up. Okay. Use tape to secure the top so it stays open. Place the billboard on top. Take photos. Billboard. Oh, that would be light robot repair. That would be this thing down here. All right, then. And then, of course, these guys are there for the fighting. Oh, it is the Street Fighter headband. I thought so. Okay, so, yeah. Um, interesting. Hmm, I'll have to fiddle with that. <laughs> Team Loot Crate, we love you. Well, quit sending me this shit from U USPS. All right, well, that was the Loot Crate for November 2014. And we got some interesting stuff. Um, I mean... I think the, the helmet is the highlight of this. This is the definitely the best made thing in this entire crate. And I am kind of surprised. It's very, very solid plastic, which I was kind of impressed with. This might, yeah, this will definitely go up on the uh, shelf of interesting things. Uh, we got the Assassin's Creed Unity coin, which is extremely heavy for its size. One wouldn't expect it. This is, that's actual metal. I don't know what kind of metal, but that's solid. That's real. Um, neat. Probably not worth that much, but hey, what do you expect? It's Assassin's Creed Unity. 
We got a free game out of it. You guys got a 50% off. We got a nice shirt. So yeah, I'm going to wrap that up here, and I'm going to say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game, and apparently kick, keep kicking each other's asses. Fight! I'm walking! Yo!